<laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? It's uh, it's funny. Yeah, thank you all very much for your birthday wishes. That was incredibly kind of you all, and I thank you all very much. The day itself was actually all right. Uh, I got a new Xbox controller so I can play The Witcher on my PC again. Uh, I got money, uh, and uh, <laughs> the day before, uh, I got this guy. It's a uh, Blahage. Uh, which I, I think is how it's pronounced, but I've named him Harold. If anything happens to him, I kill myself, then everyone in the room. So, uh, one thing that did happen, well, actually didn't happen, but also did happen. Maybe 50-50. Blue Box Game Studios announced yesterday that the abandoned app would now be delayed from the 25th of June all the way up to an unannounced date in August. So we've gone from a three-day delay to two months. Okay, one thing I do want to mention is that there is a YouTube channel out there called Blue Box Game Studios, and they're uploading all kinds of bizarre teasers, stuff that's in Morse code and stuff like that. When Morse code gets involved, I tune out, I give it to someone else. And one of these videos was actually a countdown that was going on yesterday on the 25th. And as it was counting down, when it hit zero, Blue Box Game Studios' Twitter account uploaded a video uh, confirming that the app had been delayed. Now, Blue Box Game Studios are aware of this YouTube channel, and the only thing they had to say about it were the words, fake. Okay, then. This video got quite a polarizing reaction in the comments, and oh my god, it's an absolute train wreck. It's gone from one week ago, we were taking a look at funny photoshopped images of Kojima, uh, having a bit of a laugh about it, and just having a bit of general fun. It seems to have taken a different route this time around. The Kojima nuts have gone insane, the detractors have gone insane, and the people in the middle have in fact also gone insane. Actually, no, they haven't. They've completely lost interest, and I've got to say, I think I have as well. It's difficult to give an opinion on this, it, it really is. I was a bit annoyed when they announced the delay, but the more I think about it, the more I can't actually talk about it, it's strange. Because at the same time, we don't know how much was going to be in the app. Maybe it is, in fact, a uh, PT-style demo that's going to set the world on fire, but it's just simply not ready yet, and they need two more months to do it. Who knows? Or maybe it's just a regular app. Who knows? We've got to reserve judgment, and I know, I know that sounds difficult to do, because they're really not helping themselves. I think what's really cemented this for me is the fact that these guys delayed the release on the day. Can you imagine if another game studio did that, it would set social media on fire? Imagine if Halo Infinite, with its established release date now, it came to that release date, and uh, 343 Studios just turned around and went, Oh, sh that is coming out, isn't it? Yeah, nope, sorry, we got to have two more months on it. Sorry, so sorry. A bit weird. It's, it's, all, it's all very, very strange, and to be honest, I think I've uh, talked about it enough for now, because I don't think anything's going to be happening for the next two months. There's two possibilities. There's always been two possibilities in my mind. The first one is it is, in fact, what we originally thought it was, a Kojima project, and it's just not ready yet, or he's just messing with us a bit more, or it's an indie developer that is way in over his head and has landed in a world of shit. We don't know. They've said they're going to clarify, they have yet to clarify, and are kind of shooting themselves in the foot frequently on social media, which is a pretty bad way to start off if you're a brand new developer in the business. I mean, I know nothing about developments or companies or anything like that, but it took Hello Games five years to get their reputation back. And they were also an indie company with Sony's backing that talked too much, promised too much, and overshot too much, which resulted in a very, very, very disappointing launch. But with Blue Box Game Studios, it, everything is surrounded by this mist of just misinformation, vague answers, and it's really confusing. But for now, I don't think anything's going to happen for the next two months, so I think I'm going to start shifting my focus elsewhere. If something does happen, I'll talk about it. If they announce it, and if they release a trailer, I will look at it. That's it, but for now, I'm 
pretty much moving on from this point. Uh, for all of you that are new here, don't worry though, I do a bunch of other good videos that are not watched by anyone. Um, they're all in a playlist titled Best Of. Go ahead and have a watch, that'll be in this corner here, the, uh, the obligatory recommended video will also be here and the subscribe button will be somewhere on the screen as well. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you have a good Saturday. Bye now.